Hello sweet plums, it's me, Maya, and today we are doing a craft for my first YouTube video. If you are watching, comment down below. That's what I want to hear the most, your opinions, what more you want to see. Second of all, liking and subscribing, and you can push the notification button if you want, but I don't do that, so it doesn't matter if you do. Okay, let's get started. Today I will be doing a uh, gold leaf craft. I have this gorgeous print um, that I got from an event at Macy's. It is for the Philly Tarot deck. If you're not familiar with tarot, they're gorgeous, gorgeous um, place to tell your fortune. They're all beautiful. And I'm a Philly girl, so of course I had to pick up this deck. I mean, look at it. It's like gold, leaf, angelic. Um, and I got one of my favorite cards and one of my birth cards, um, the moon. It's City Hall, it's super cute. Um, but when I got the print, I didn't realize it wasn't gonna be super gold and glossy like the cover. So I thought I would do it myself at home. Uh, what I have is the print, um, some gold leaf, sealant and adhesive, some brushes, uh, a blank canvas backing workspace, um, and the instructions. So we're just gonna get started. Okay, so first we have to paint on the adhesive. I'm gonna open this up. Ooh, it looks like milky. I don't know why I'm smelling it, it smells like blue, okay. I'm going to take one of my brushes, I don't know which one, probably something like a little bit pointier. These are my watercolor brushes. It says to like clean them right away, so that's what I intend to do. I'm going to use two different sizes just in case um, to get into those little, little thin pieces of this print. I'm going to use... This John, this one says number one, this one says a number five from the Royal Lang Nickel brand. I'm gonna start with the small bits first. It said shake well and I did. Just gonna, you know, start going at it. So the first thing I did was start with the clock in the middle. Um, if you look closely, you might see that I have a Q-tip just in case, you know, I went over some of the um, black outline. Um, I had some trouble with the pooling of the glue. It's like very, very watery. Um, so you might see me go in a bunch of times through this video. But remember to do a very thin coat when you are using gold, gold leaf and also remember um, that mistakes are okay. I made a lot of mistakes um, in the beginning and you're going to see me like struggle a little bit but I am really excited about the outcome. Um, next you can see me doing the sun and the moon. I only wanted to do the gold pieces of this um, print uh, and yeah. That's all I really have to say in this voiceover. The rest of the video is pretty much me just talking to myself, and I didn't really think it was that interesting. It hasn't been 30 minutes because I don't know how to wait, but we're getting somewhere. Is it feeling tacky? Yes, I really want to do it now, but what if I just like, I'm gonna wave it around a little bit and then I'm gonna start. Okay. Then the instructions say to take some of this leaf or whatever. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna attempt to use 
Ah, fuck. Okay, well, this one came off, so I guess we're gonna come that way. We're gonna start here, right here, my little. We're gonna just go like that or whatever. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I just put it on there, boop, whatever. And then it says to gently dust it away with a brush. So I found this brush that I usually use for makeup and I'm just gonna, I don't know, like, like this. Oh my God, I think it's working. Oh my God, you guys. Kind of working. Maybe a better brush to dust it away. doesn't look too bad. Just not the neatest. I wish I had like something to solve this problem that I'm facing. Or like a golden ruler. We're gonna keep going. Press onward. Kind of, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's, it's a lot. Okay. I think this, So right now I am using my brush to go back in um, and get some of the lines that I missed. Also you might see me flip my brush upside down because I'm scratching out the black, like I'm bringing back the black outline in the moon. Um, so you might see that moving forward. like it. I'm still pretty happy. I could be happier. Friends. That's a fault. Um, so. So I'm not like fully concerned. There we go. Now you can tell it's a moon. This a little bit more. Time to go back in with more glue. This time, a little more chill.
So what I need to do is just get this like little white line situation together. And I honestly don't think it's that bad. Besides like whatever the fuck I did right here. But you know, easy come, easy go. Bloop. So, while I wait, I decided to take some of this Kat Von D mini liner, since it's like pitch black and I don't have a thin enough sharpie, and re-highlight the moon. And we're back in business, friends. I really think this is going to be the bop. So, I'm going to just go back and lightly dust where I put glue. Now it's clean up time. And that is Haya Foil. Folks, look at this. I'm super proud of it. Here's the before, and here is the after. I really love how it turned out. I love the shine to it, and I think it'll make a great addition to our apartment. Now to do the second part, which is something a little bit separate. I found the perfect frame for it. It's already a little gilded, but I think I can go in with the gold leaf, so that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I want to do crafts, I want to do music, I want to do Q&As, I want to do how-tos, uh, so just stay tuned for more. Bye!